the NDC youth wing has been leading a demonstration protesting the what they call it the current state of insecurity. But it's mainly geared towards the shooting of two persons, the shooting and killing of two persons during the protest of the death of Ibrahim Mohammed, aka Kaka. Um, the protest started at the Aqua Mall from 10 a.m. They've been walking less than five kilometers, I must say, from the Aqua Mall through to the Ministry of Defense, where we are now. The initial destination is Jubilee House, where a petition will be presented to the presidency, after which the contingency will move forward to Parliament House, where a, con a, a, a petition will be presented to the House. We understand that this is one in a series of activities that the NDC intends to embark on in protest of what they term as the current state of insecurity, Mamabi. All right, so that's Daniel Datsi. Gifty and the API is also on the ground. Gifty, where exactly are you and what is happening? The Jubilee House. We just passed the Defense Ministry, Johnson and Sedu Ketia, who has just taken the lead. But the cause of the protesters continue to pour in. And they're quite enjoying quite a lot of support. If you look towards my right, you see people who have stopped work and decided to stand by and watch them. On my left as well, you can see some. And it's been a long walk, I must say, but not without scuffles. We've seen a few scuffles here and there between the protesters and the police. We have not seen any um, sort of reaction that is harsh. We've seen that the police has been engaging the protesters, even when some of them tried to, you know, throw a few words around. They were quite calm. We're hoping that that will perhaps uh, be some of the scenes you see so that there is no uh, chaos that cannot be controlled. Even as we make our way gradually to the uh, Jubilee House at the moment. So this is the NDC's protest that they say is against military and police brutality. They say they are calling for justice for any human being who has been killed in the course of the week, in the course of the months. They're saying it is against a, a, a pin that they say has been put on free speech. And they're saying that they're calling for justice for Ameswali, justice for uh, the Edra killings, justice for Kaka, whose death, of course, sparked the killing in the first place. But scores of the protesters keep coming. I have scores of them right behind me, many more of them in front of us as we gradually progress towards uh, the Jubilee House. We can speak to some of them and see how the work has been for them, what they expect when we get to the Jubilee House. Sir, what's your name? Yeah, my name is Don Kodo. Don Kodo, where are you coming from? Yeah, I'm coming from uh, New Wage Hour. I'm a secretary, branch, uh, Block Factory B. Yeah, now the problem why we are doing all this is that that those uh, unnecessary killings in the nation has been some problem to us. So we just want to prove to the nation that, or especially our leader being Nana Dodang Kufaru, to see to it that all what is happening, he must wake up, stand, and see to it that all those things have to be captured down, which will not worry the nation. Because when they are killing soldiers, when they are killing policemen who are to guide us, then what about we, those in the nation, who are not having anything? So we are begging Nana Adodankwa Kufado, the president, to sit up or to stand up and see to the, state, the situation. Otherwise, it will worry us very, very, very bad. So we are walking towards the Jubilee House. Yeah. What are you expecting? Your leaders, your leaders say they are going to present a petition. Yeah. What are you expecting when you get there? I'm expecting a very successful humble to the uh, president. That the petition we are going to present to them, they should receive it and sit up and do something better of the petition because we don't want a nation whereby we will be fighting uh, each other in the nation, perhaps if we are not in the war front. So the president to sit up because he has been our father now. Now I'm quoting a quotation to the president today. The president must see to this quotation, Proverb 12.1, Proverb 12.1. 
Proverbs 12 1 says, anyone who is being advised, who doesn't want to take an advice is a fool. That is what the proverb says. So I'm put, quoting this quotation to them. Thank you very much, Mr. Kodo. Mr. Kodo is one of the protesters who has just been talking to me. And I want the cameraman to just turn around so you take a look at where we are and the people in front of us. You can see more of the people now taking the turn around the Lands Commission and they're making their turn all the way towards uh, the Jubilee House. So those are those who have taken the lead already and more of them coming as you see them come. We'll try to talk to some of them. Initially, when we got to uh, Opebia, um, there was a bit of a scuffle because at the time the protested had the protesters had refused to use the agreed route. They agreed route was for them to use uh, all the way from Apebia through uh, through the Stambik Heights. You want to speak through the Stambik Heights, and they they didn't want to use that route. But their leaders came through, and they managed to understand each other to move ahead. Right. So, what's your name? Well, I, I will not want to disclose my name for the time okay, being. I mean, you're I'm, making a point. You you want to join you to carry out a point. What is it? Go ahead. Exactly so. Um, um, well, my name is very cut, actually. And, uh, and uh, I mean, you are here yourself, and this is a, a clear signal, a clear I mean, demonstration of, of, of a dissatisfaction and disappointment in this government and, and in this government. And so, we are out on the street here today because we, we think that um, there's no future left for us as far as this government is concerned. And it's important that we, we make the government know that we are unsatisfied and we are not happy with, with how it is governing this country. There's no more freedom of, exp of expression and uh, people cannot just even speak up their minds because speak your mind and you'll be a target. And so, and so we, we've had to come out on the street here to let the president know that, that there are still people in the country who have conscience. There are still people in the country who are still rational. There are still people in the country who can who can separate the lies from the truth. And so he told us enough lies. And so we have come out here today and want him to know. We may not have the opportunity to be to be at his office to let him know that these are some of our grievances. But by this, and by this placard, it's, it's, a, it's a message we are sending to the president. And so his placard, his placard says, yet to Sikaso, Sikano Wohin. Indeed, indeed, the pre, it is on record. The president said that, you know, you, you unfortunately have a, a government that has, that has burned, I mean, since he took off, we, we had a public debt of 122 billion. And now we have 300 plus, 300 billion plus. And this is the same government that told us that it, it, it was it was never going to be engaged in borrowing, you know. But here we are today. I mean, but, but, but my dear, a lot, a lot of the time, one question I ask myself is that, are you also not feeling the heat? A lot of the time, you are behind the cameras. You are the one interviewing us. Are you not feeling the heat? That every single now and then, four prices are going up. Are you not feeling the heat? Don't you have a voice too? Won't you let the government know that we are tired of this oppression? As enough is enough, that the government should, should know. That is right up by time, that, that they made things right. Okay, I'll come to don't you. I want to find on out. Merit. You I don't get to... on merit. You don't get... Nothing, nothing is, is moving, technically. Nothing is moving in this country. I want to ask right. you what your expectations are as we go towards the Jubilee House. Let me talk to your brother here and then come back to you. Tell us your name. Yeah, my name is Wahab Muhammad. This instance, Madam.